Oh my god, I'm still- Oh my god, I-
Jonathan has already been gone for several hours, and Mina is resting in my office. It is a pity that, because of the urgency of the situation, I have not been able to bring Jonathan up to date with all my work. I have a feeling that the noose is tightening around us, and... But what? My God! It's Dracula! Leave your guard where you found him. He's of no use to you now. Seize him! Don't go near her. Get away. Get him out of my sight. Now, my dear, it appears that our destinies have crossed once again. Let me just relieve you of that wedding ring, which you won't be needing any longer. Now, wake up. This time, I promise you, we shall never part again. Oh. Oh. God be praised. I am now protected against the vampires. Notes on the patient Hopkins. Height, 1 meter 65. Weight, 55 kilograms. Estimated age between 40 and 45. Date of internment, 20th October 1904. The patient Hopkins seems to have been afflicted by a very rare carnivorous pathology, which takes the form of ingesting flies and other insects and other forms of disturbed behaviour. What is particularly interesting is that after a series of conversations with him, I became deeply convinced that the man's mind was controlled by Dracula. 
And then, though Hopkins seemed so cold and calculating that it was possible to believe that he was feigning his illness, he met Mina and was radically transformed. From then on, he has spoken hesitantly and seems far less sure of himself. He has become vulnerable. If Hopkins has doubts, that could be to our advantage. From today onwards, Mina must be present during my sessions with him.